Science Show. Steve, and I'll be the teacher for lesson one, all about the fractionating column. Fractional distillation is the separation of a mixture into its component fractions, such as in separating chemical compounds by their boiling point, by heating them to a temperature at which one or more fractions of the compound will vaporize. This is where the crude oil is pumped into the column. It is then heated and split up into its component fractions. There are six main fractions, residue, fuel, diesel, kerosene, naphtha and gasoline. The top fraction is for refinery gases, or more commonly known as bottled gases, such as helium. You are probably wondering what each of the fractions are for. Well, let's take a look, shall we? Let's start right from the beginning. First, the crude oil is pumped into the column. It is then heated and split up into its different fractions, where it is collected. For example, if we use naphtha, we would rise to the fifth fraction, where it would be separated and collected. Each fraction can be marked by a piece of purple wool. Residue is for bitumen, which is used for making tarmac for roads. How on earth are we going to cross this? When you're living in the danger zone Fuel oil is made into fuel, which is used for ships or power stations. Diesel oil is made into fuel for cars, lorries and buses.
kerosene is made into aircraft fuel. The aircraft fuel powers vehicles such as an aeroplane.